going to show you how to clean your basin first before we're going to remove some foils and color. So giving it a good wipe down, I'm using a spray and wipe which has antibacterial properties in it. And now I'm with my client, I'm just checking that my foils are ready to rinse and we're all good. So we're going to go over to the basin and then I'm going to pop her in the chair and make sure that she's nice and comfortable. So I'm going to pop her feet up and then I'm going to grab all of the hair. I'm making sure that I'm forming a really good seal around the base and that way I'm not going to drip water down her back and wet her. So I have gloves on so that I'm dealing with chemicals. And then the first thing I'm going to do is just make sure the water temperature is nice. We're looking for a more tepid or medium to warm water. You don't want it too hot or too cold. So I've got my water pressure on quite low. That way I'm not going to spray water all over her. And the first thing is I'm doing is I'm just testing it. So you can see I've gone back just to change my water temperature. And then you can see she's just said it was a good temperature. So the first thing I'm doing when dealing with foils that have color around it is I'm going to remove my color first. That way the color won't run into my foil work. So just working around the hairline and making sure that I'm just emulsifying that color off. Once I've removed all that color, I'm going to unfold my foils. I don't just rip my foils out as I have a bleach product on the hair. So if I was to rip it out, it's a good chance I could damage the hair. So unfolding them one by one and making sure I'm nice and gentle. Then I'm going to scrunch them up and we recycle our foil here. So it's going to go into my sustainable salons metal bin. Now I'm removing my bleach. So I'm just going through and just making sure that I'm rinsing everything. I'm aiming to make sure that the water is running nice and clear and that there's no product left on her scalp or hair. being careful not to wet her, so just being very mindful with my hands around that hairline. Lifting up the head and making sure that I'm removing any color under that nape area. It can get tucked away and left there and then that can cause irritations and sensitivity. So always lifting that up and making sure that I've got no product left there. So once I've removed all my product, I take my gloves off and then we're gonna do a shampoo. I'm gonna use a color saving shampoo today. So this is from Eva and it's just really nice and light and it smells fantastic. It's also paraben free. So I'm doing a pump of that and then I'm just going to emulsify that all through the hair and then I'm going to do my shampoo service. I'm getting a good foam on it, which is great. So I'm doing my effleurage technique and just making sure that I'm going all over the scalp, in behind the ears and then down in that nape area as well. Once I've done my first shampoo, I rinse really well, making sure that there's no bubbles left on the hair. And then I'll go in with a second shampoo. For the purpose of this video, I'm only gonna show you one shampoo, but we always do two shampoos when removing color. Otherwise, it could leave product on the hair and then you won't remove it very well. So just giving it a really good rinse and then I'm going to towel dry. I'm popping some gloves on because I'm going to do a quick express toning service here. So I've already pre-mixed my product, giving it a good shake. And then I'm just going to pop this all through the hair. When you're an apprentice, this would be mixed up by your senior or directed for you to mix by your senior. So this is a really nice just softening service. It's just going to go through and get rid of anything that's too brassy and make sure it's just nice and toned. I've always got gloves on for this, that way I don't create any itchy allergies that can come from dealing with chemicals on your hands. So I'm just working this all through the hair and making sure that I've got a good even coverage. I give it a light comb through that way. I'm making sure that I don't have any tangles in the hair.
and I'm just following manufacturer's instructions for timing. This was an express toner, so it only stays on for five minutes. And then I'm coming back and I'm rinsing. So just rinsing this product out nice and just making sure there's no bubbles or color product left on the hair. So once I'm happy that the tone is all rinsed out, I will then give it a squeeze out to get rid of any excess moisture, remove my gloves, and then I'll do a shampoo again. Normally after toners, I'll only do one shampoo as the hair's been nice and clean. It just depends on what your manufacturer's instructions say or what your senior would like you to do. So giving it a good scrub, I'm getting a nice foamy action so it means the hair's nice and clean. And then I'm going to rinse that shampoo, making sure that I've left no bubbles, haven't left any bubbles in it, you're always checking those areas and especially around the nape area and behind the ears. So once I have rinsed all my shampoo out, I'm going to give the hair a light towel dry. And we're going to go in with a color saving treatment now. This will stop the color from processing any further and making the hair really nice and soft. And it'll also lock my toner in for a little bit longer. So I'm just doing a couple of pumps of that. And then I'm going to massage that through the hair. So working through the mid lengths first and then coming up to the scalp. And then I do a really nice massage. Timing will depend on what your timeframes are at work and how much your client is paying for the service. So just giving it a light comb through to get rid of any tangles. I use a wide tooth basin comb for this. I don't use a fine tooth comb at the basin as it can kind of stretch the hair a little bit too much. So I'm going in with my petrissage motion and I'm doing a deep kneading massage making sure to keep both my hands on the head and not removing both of them at the same time. So I'm keeping her in that relaxed state. It's a good idea to make sure you're getting in underneath the ears and around the nape area. And if you can, even down the neck, this will just help relax your client even further. Once I've finished my massage, I give it a good comb through and then I'm going to rinse really well. I'm rinsing, making sure that the hair's not feeling slimy and that I don't have any product left. Okay, so once I have rinsed it really well, I'm going to just squeeze out the excess moisture and then I'm going to towel dry and I'm going to just do a head wrap. So just making sure to get rid of any excess moisture, giving her a light comb through. My client has lots of hair and it's quite curly, so it gets quite tangly. Now that I'm gonna do the head wrap, I'm gonna pop the towel just behind her and then grab all of my hair and just tuck it in side by side. Sometimes you might need a clip to secure the back. Sometimes it'll just tuck in nicely. Then I'm going to pop her forward and I'm going to make sure I haven't wet her or there's no product left on her gown. If there was, you would change these gowns, which is what I'm doing. I'm going to pop her feet down and then I'm going to guide her back to the chair where she's going to have a nice blow dry service. And that's how you remove color and foils.